we won't get sirens switched on warning us that we're about to die. Well, hello everybody. Today I've been searching out in my word and I've got a very powerful word I want to share with you and it's from 2 Timothy chapter 4 verses 1 to 4 in the King James Bible. But before we get into the word, let us pray. Heavenly Father, we hallow your name. We just thank you today, Father God, for this word. Come move amongst all believers, Father God, and help them to understand the wisdom from this word today, Father God, and the urgency of the message. Touch every life with this message. We praise you and we thank you in Jesus' mighty name. Well, hi everybody. My name is Pastor Gareth Lovell and I hope you're ready for the word. I hope that you're ready for the word and that you've got your Bibles ready. And today I'm going to be reading 2 Timothy chapter 4 verses 1 to 4 and I'm reading from the King James Version Bible now, this particular Bible was printed in around the 1700s, so it's not the 1611 version, but it's around the 1700s, but it's almost the same, almost the same. Just slight variations. What we're going to be reading today is Paul's second letter to Timothy, and it was likely around AD 67, while Paul was in prison. Now, open your Bibles and we're going to get right into it. Today we're going to be reading from 2 Timothy chapter 4, verses 1 through 4. And I'm going to be starting at verse 1. And it says, I charge thee therefore before God and the Lord Jesus Christ, who shall judge the quick and the dead at his appearing and his kingdom. Amen. Verse 2. Preach the word. Be instant in season, out of season. Reprove, rebuke, exhort with all long suffering and doctrine. Verse 3. For the time will come when they will not endure sound doctrine, but after their own lust shall they eat to themselves teachers having itching ears. Verse 4, And they shall turn away their ears from the truth and shall be turned unto fables. And it's a very powerful word and it's a very strong message. And, and why is it such a strong message? Well, Paul, the Apostle Paul, is in prison. This is his second letter he's writing to Timothy and is, is thinking about his imminent departure from this world. He's, he senses death, you know, he senses death creeping in, in on him and he wants to ensure Timothy, he wants to ensure him that he, he continues in the work of the Lord after Paul has died very important you know when somebody you know when any of us when we can sense death creeping in we want to leave a legacy and that's what Paul wanted to do he wanted his work to continue with the same urgency with the same passion he didn't want it to just die with him and that is a very good thing and Paul states the importance of the word and of preaching of the word. You know, it's, it's extremely important that we keep, continue sharing the word. That's for all, all uh, believers. We must share the word, continue sharing, no matter what situation we are going through, no matter what difficulty we are going through, we must continue to share the word. Whether you're a preacher, a pastor, an evangelist, a teacher, a regular believer, you've got to share the word of God, amen, and continue to do that and see the importance of it, amen. So, Paul also, in this, in this short passage, Paul warns Timothy of 
the challenges ahead. He, he warns, he warns uh, that there will be people who will reject sound doctrine. They will have itching ears. They will go to these wonky churches, these ones that don't give sound doctrine. They want to go to churches where they are filled with people calling themselves pastors and preachers, but really they're just life coaches. They want their ears tickled and they want to feel good and then they, they want to go back home and say, we've done our bit. But this is not what Paul is writing to Timothy. He's writing with urgency. He's writing because he, he, he senses his own death coming swiftly. And he wants Paul to continue in the work of the Lord and continue with the sound doctrine that Paul has taught Timothy along with Timothy's mother and grandmother also. And so he doesn't want anything to go to waste. Amen. So there are going to be many, many difficult challenges ahead. We've all, we've all seen and will all continue to see the mess that our world is in right now. And the difficult times that are here now and the difficult times that will be with us or upon us ahead in the future, in the not too distant future, because of, you know, the evil people running this world. And so it's even more important, more urgent that we share the gospel of Christ, rightly dividing his word with a sense of passion, with a sense of urgency, just like Paul had to Timothy when he was expecting or when he was sensing his death would be very, very close by. So don't be one of those teachers or those Christians or those preachers or evangelists that just shares the doctrine, made up doctrine from life coaches uh, to make people smile and be happy. You've got to teach them the correct word, rightly dividing the word. Amen. And throughout all of these difficulties, we must have endurance and we must be patient at the same time. Endurance, we must continue in God's word to build us up, to give us the strength so that we can endure to the very end, like Paul was sensing when his own death was coming. Paul encourages Timothy to reprove, rebuke and exhort with patience, with patience and careful instruction. Amen. Or careful instructions, plural. And believers must re remain faithful to their calling. You know, each and every one of us, we must stay faithful to our calling. We must not listen to the, the, uh, the doctrine that tickles ears from these false preachers or these life coaches because they're not called of God. We must listen to sound doctrine. We must endure with patience and we must endure to the end. And this is what Paul, the Apostle Paul, wanted to convey to his fellow disciple, Timothy. He wanted to let him know that there's a great urgency about it and also let him know that he must stay faithful with patience and he must endure and he must teach sound doctrine. Amen. He must continue to teach sound doctrine and not be tempted away by all the wiles of the world, the dark fallen world. And none of us want that. And so Paul didn't want it for Timothy and I don't want it for, for you. I want you to continue in God's word, teaching sound doctrine and do it when you're teaching it, do it with all patience. You know, some people will come up with all kinds of excuses not to follow God's word. Temptations will come from every side, but we must, we must be patient in our own walk with God and we must also be patient when we are teaching, when we are exhorting, when we are reproofing, when we are uh, rebuking, because sometimes we've got to rebuke 
and we've got to make sure that the people that we are sharing God's word with understands fully and so that's where the patience comes in and we can only do that by studying God's word daily and I hope and pray that you are sharing God's word and you're not giving up on it you're not giving up on it it's, it's doesn't matter how many likes this video gets doesn't matter if it gets thumbs down thumbs up if people subscribe or they don't subscribe because I'm doing it for the glory of God and it is my calling it is my calling from God Almighty to bring the Word of God to people in the world and also to bring it to the believers to build them up we've got to build up the body of Christ that's what God's Word is all about building up the body of Christ and if when we're sharing there are non-believers there then we must rightly divide the word so that Jesus will convict their hearts and they will be saved so that they will be saved and that is the most important thing and you you may be saying to yourself well I don't have much time to do that because you live very busy lives well that's understandable but do you have time to eat do you have time to drink a coffee like I've got a cup of tea here or a mug of tea do you have time to drink or make a cup of coffee then you've got time to share God's Word even if it's over a cup of coffee or a cup of tea or a mug of tea or a mug of coffee you've got time to share God's Word we cannot make excuses you've got time to do the things that you enjoy for your flesh and you've also got time to share God's Word and you could just be having lunch with somebody and over lunch you could share God's Word a little bit a little bit of encouragement you could have people over at your home and you could chat about this and about that but also bring Christ Jesus into the conversation so that if they're non-believers they get the same opportunity as you did to be born again to be saved to be forgiven of all of their sins so the lesson is today that Paul sensed his own death and he sensed it was imminent very close and he didn't want all what he'd been doing sharing God's word to go to waste he wanted to leave a legacy to Timothy and Timothy would pass it on to other believers and to other non-believers after Paul the Apostle Paul had departed from this world and then the second point is Paul states the importance of preaching the word of sharing God's word it's extremely important that we continue to do that we're here to serve our Lord and our Savior we're here to make sure that the good news of Jesus Christ goes out to the nations in any way shape or form that we can Paul warns Timothy of challenges ahead difficulties ahead and when people will reject sound doctrine they'll want their ears tickled with life coach doctrine and so it's very important that we share the sound Word of God rightly dividing the Word of God you may have picked up the sound of that siren going past my window none of us know none of us know when our death will be Paul sensed that he had a his death was coming closer his imminent departure from this world was coming closer we won't get sirens switched on warning us that we're about to die and we must preach the Word of God and we must rightly divide the Word of God not just people pleasing not just telling people what they want to hear not just preaching something that will tickle the itching ears and we must endure with patience and during our time of sharing God's Word we must reprove we must educate we must help people to understand 
we must rebuke and that is if they if they're going off the path of Christ we we must warn them about the dangers the dangers of hell and an eternity separated from a loving God and we must exhort them build them up as much as we possibly can we must we must teach with patience we must have patience to endure life's trials and all believers that's me and that's you we must all remain faithful to God's holy word and that is the lesson for today a short lesson and I pray that you were blessed by it that you understood it and I just thank you for spending time in God's Word here at Cloud Church TV if you're watching from YouTube and you haven't already subscribed then please do consider subscribing that will help us out a great deal and help the Word of God to go out to the nations and do smash that bell icon so you get all the notifications of new videos now on our channel we teach the Word of God and we also share aspects of our life where we go out on uh, day excursions or day trips we call it here in the UK to different locations and share a bit of our life also with you so that you can see that we're real people we are genuine real people just like you you know that God shows no partiality there's no difference in you and in me and we are created of our creator our father our loving father in heaven and there is no partiality which God shows do help to spread God's word and do help to share God's word wherever you are even if you're in a house or a home where you can never get out I'm sure people will come to you even if it's a carer they will come to you and you've got the opportunity to share the gospel of Christ Jesus with them you've got the opportunity to pray with them you've got the opportunity to fellowship with them and all I ask is that the same as God rightly divide God's holy word amen and why do we do that we do that because according to 2 Timothy chapter 3 verses 16 and 17 all scripture is breathed out by God it is for reproof which we've been talking about it is for doctrine for teaching and instruction in righteousness verse 17 that the man or the woman of God will be thoroughly furnished or thoroughly equipped for all good works so I hope the word that I've shared with you today the main word from 2 Timothy chapter 4 verses 1 through 4 and I shared from the King James Bible I pray that it will uh, give you something to reflect on and it, you will think about it deeply you will meditate upon that word and you will also take action and start sharing God's word if you haven't been doing it already so God bless you my name is Pastor Gareth Lavelle and I want to thank you for studying God's Word with me today and I want to thank you for spending time in the presence of God with me here at Cloud Church TV and I pray that the word that I've shared will be an inspiration to you and it will encourage you to get your passion back for sharing God's holy word I love you guys bye for now if you haven't already subscribed please do subscribe to this channel it will help us immensely to get the word of God out to the nations Jesus.